every morning we've started to drink healthy and we've opted for athletic greens mm. ag1 yeah. full of vitamins and minerals and what i also like about this it's just so quick and so easy every morning we've got our own bottles each yeah. we put eight ounces of water in it one scoop of the powder and we're off athletic greens is going to give our community a one-year supply of vitamin d and five free travel packs so if you want to sign up for Athletic Greens to improve your health, visit athleticgreens.com forward slash ship happens to claim your free gift. It's quite nice though. Are you chugging it? Just savour it, Gemma. It's right in my mouth. <laughs> You even get a green moustache. <laughs> That's my energy done for the day. Now, back to boat work. So today we are going to be doing another frame and web frame, but luckily this frame doesn't go, it's, it's good up to about here basically. We'll probably go a bit further down. So we need to replace the top and we need to replace the web frame. So we now need to take the hanging knee off and try and get this cleaned up. Right, so we've got the frame in, done the scarf, glued it off, we've nailed it from the outside, there's only like four nails in that one or something like that. Right, it's time to move on to the, the web frame. So when all the floors are on, it looks fantastic, doesn't it? I was looking at it thinking it looks all right, so I was doing a join below the floor line, so it looks pretty. But then, it's broken. So we need to go down to the keel basically, so. Want to see what was in my bilge? <laughs> Half a boat in there. Okay, so before we can do the web frame, we need to do a repair on this stringer. Because after revealing, for some reason the stringer right in this location is really poorly. Obviously we probably had fresh water dripping down, it's holding here or something like that. So extremely difficult to replace the string all the way through so we're going to do a repair on the stringer so i'm going to put like a, a noggin with it called so we're going to put like a noggin in but then we're going to sister it from the bottom so then we're going to bolt it up through the bottom 
and then maybe next week or another time they will then go right through and then nail the sister to the hole. So yeah, um, so here's our web, so I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to cut the bolt in a minute for that. Got to reveal some space here to get to here, we've got to cut a section out, see how far back the rock goes and then we'll try and get a new assistant on the stringer as long as we possibly can in this location, may as well go along can we? Cool, that's the plan. So we're not, not replacing the stringer because it's difficult, we're not doing it because it's fine everywhere else isn't it? Yeah it's basically here, so yeah, strange, but it is what it is. Well, we're not we're not budging it up. So, recep, recep, recep. So as I've been digging, um, this frame is quite poorly. So our intention is is now to put a sister in. Been trying not to do sisters for some reason, but everyone keeps saying you should put a sister in. You should put a sister in. So it's going to be sisters down there. It's not really on show. No one can see it. Not that we're going for a posh bow, but we just want a strong bow, don't we? So it's not completely rotten that one, but it's very difficult to change down there because of where we are in the mud and stuff. So. We can actually cut a frame as long as we can, slip it up under, and then epoxy it in, and then yeah. And then Jem's going to make us a nice noggin now, aren't you Jem? Yep. To go across these, I'm going to machine it back a bit more, yeah. Um, and then, so have you used the bandsaw before? No. Okay. Count your fingers first. Okay, alright. Cool, so I'll make you that, you can crack on with that, then I'll work out the length of the sister. Yep. Fine. So you sister the frame and I'll make I'll sort the stringer. Yep, okay. Something that I noticed as well is mirrored this side of the bow, it's got exactly the same problem in exactly the same place. So if you're in a HDML, check it. <laughs> Might be a common fault on them. <laughs> Manufacturer's recall. Manufacturer's error. <laughs> Bevan. <laughs> Don't get as nervous when you time lapse. <laughs> Do you get nervous with the camera? Yeah. Oh yeah, I don't know if anybody's ever like had a camera pointed in the face when the light tried to do so. All you're thinking about is the camera, the camera, the camera. And then like next to you is on fire. <laughs> it's like Camera, camera, camera. Should we use it by now? Should be, yeah. But it is what it is, isn't it? Right. It's not my favourite bevel, even though it's like all oh, made to look pretty, but good enough for this. It's very sort of like, you know, clicky. Okay, so we're going to imagine that's that, so we're going to be cutting that angle and that angle because sometimes you get your angles all mixed up. So now we're going to start, start point. So, you understand that for your cut, don't you? Yep. Yeah. I mean, it's like, it's like a pound shop blue one somewhere. So I know our angle's going that way. So then that star point is there. There we go, on one of them. That's not right. Why? It looks. It's because I've measured I've, I've measured it off the wrong one. <laughs> Just measure the gap and then look at the gap there. Yeah it's because it's because it's distracted by the camera. So that should be 400. No, you know what I did? I put it on the engine and didn't mark the 400 because um, I, was, I, was, I was distracted. But hey, without you, Jam, um, I wouldn't know what my faults would be. No. Measure twice, cut once. Yeah. 
It depends who's cutting, I suppose. Isn't it? You're gonna remember that, aren't you, forever? Forever. You know, like, <laughs> I never make mistakes. Well, the thing is now, if I cut it and it doesn't fit, I can blame Simon because he's the one who marked it. <laughs> Off you cut. So I've genuinely never used a bandsaw before. Get the power plasters out. It's a bit high as well, but... No, do you want to put on the floor? No. I'm just going to have a little test first. Just I'm just going to just cut the end just to see what I'm you doing. You can take a guide off as well. A guide just there for storage. Okay. If that's in your way. So I've gone over a little bit because obviously it's my first time using it, but we can plane it back now. That's beautiful. Do you like yeah, it? Yeah, you did a really good job there. It's a bit, it needs a bit of a plane on the end. But for my first time using a bandsaw, it didn't go massively wrong. <laughs> that was a catch! <laughs> I just broke it. <laughs> so that's the story of our day. I just snapped the camera mount. Oh. So, you didn't realise how difficult this film in Malarkey is because everything you do has to have a camera on it and you're like, come on. Okay, so my darling wife was about to like, sort of, what do you call it? What do you call it when you... So you had a good idea, she had a good, another good idea. So she said, well, we've got the roof open so we can just slip one all the way down so we can actually go quite long. So what we do now is go up top, slip it down. Uh, I put a mice on it here to, to match where it needs the keel. So yeah, that's our job, knocky knocky.
So yeah, slide cock up. Sounds that easy, don't you? just slip it in. But what we didn't anticipate was all these nails. These nails offer quite a substantial amount of drag. So it's been quite a trauma getting in from the top. But once you get it in, you get it in, you can't easily knock it out. So we're using a combination of the Porter power to push it and a bit of um, hammer time, but it's getting hard work. And it down. down. Yeah. <sighs> this has been one of the disappointing type days. Yes. <laughs> so that frames in. Let's just do the scarf. Yeah, do that and then do the sister on the stringer. How's the wood looking? Pardon? How's your wood looking? It's, it's just the way these roll up, Gemma. I keep telling you. <laughs> Sorry, speaking. How's the uh, wood on the stringers looking? Yeah, it's really good. I said it was purely just there and there, so we're now going to put that in. But before we put that in, we're going to work out our, our sister stringer. Sister stringer. But we're just going to go long. Keep it long. Quite a high pressure part of the hole I would have thought here, so um, yeah. And then once um, once that's all in, don't know about epoxy in it. I think we're going to um, use the the marine sealant. So we're going to we're going to bolt it, and we're going to glue it. So it'll still have a bit of flex if it needs. What do you think, Joe? Yeah. So we've gone from never doing sisters to doing two in one day. So, so there's our noggin. What we've done now, this is going to be the sister. So we're going to bolt this to the sister before we fit it all in place. Aren't we? That's the plan. <laughs> Just to try and make life easier. Yeah. So that's going to be bolted through there, there, there. Epoxied at the ends, placed in and then bolted to the original. Yep. Let's... One beautiful piece then. Cool. Let's get it done. Yep. Sit. This one here. Yeah. <laughs> Everything's grey. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Oh, that doesn't fit. Doesn't fit. Yeah, it does. It just needs pulling in now. Okay. So it's just the pull to power from the other side push the curve before we actually compress it down. Okay, and then we're gonna nut and bolt it with A4 stainless steel nuts and bolts and what, what A4 bolts bar M10s. MIP10. MIP10.
Yeah. That looks really good. <laughs> What's it like? Yeah, so it's good here. Yeah? So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to clean up this rusty knee as best as I can with the flappy grinder. PPE time. Ow. Went up my nose then. Okay, so that's cleaned up the best it can be with the grinder. I just need to get into the corner, so I'll go down and do that. And then what we're going to do next is we're going to soak it in a rust remover, which a lot of you guys recommended to us um, when we were done the first knee, you know, when we were sandblasting it. So we bought some of that, we've tested it out, so I need to go and find a container on the boat big enough to try and fit the knee in, to let it soak for a couple of hours in the solution to get rid of all the little surface rust. But, it's a good knee! Okay, so the plan is now, this is the only bucket I can find that's not even big enough, but we've got to make do with what we've got at the minute. It has holes in it, so we've just sealed them up, not just with duct tape, we've put a nut on a bolt through, we've put some glue through it, so hopefully that shouldn't leak. So there's my bucket. And we're going to be using Evaporust, which we've done some tests in the workshop with this, and it worked really well. Um, but obviously, my only issue I've got, it won't lie down in the bucket. So we're going to have to do it half and half. So I was going through the bin, as you usually do, and I found this, and I'm thinking, but what do you think of this idea? Put it through the hole. Are you not been thinking again, have you? I've been thinking. Then you just fill it up. And fill the bag up. What's the chance of the bag having holes in it? Uh, the chance of the bag having holes in it is probably quite high. <laughs> but. I'm there for thinking that, Joe. But it might get two sides in one. And if it's got holes in, it's fine because it'll all just go into the bucket. The only issue I've got now is pouring it in. Do you pour it? Do you want to help? Do you read the instructions? Do you reckon it says don't drink it? Yeah, it's a multiple. Have you got a funnel? I have got a drawer with funnels in. Yay! I've never even used this drawer. I've actually got my own set of funnels. What 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 do I want? Too many choices of funnels. Got them. Oh! <laughs> Sorry. Violence. Right. Don't know if it's going to work, but go on. How much do you put in? Is it coming straight out of the bottom, yeah? No. Oh, yeah, we've got a leak. <laughs> Only one there. Oh, okay. we've, got, we've got a couple of leaks. <laughs> but... <laughs> yeah, it'll, it'll contain it for a bit, won't it? 
Maybe I should have checked for leaks first. You should have blown it. Hold on, get the duct tape while I catch it now. No, it's too wet already. Is it? But you can keep reusing this stuff, can't yeah, you? Yeah, it's reusable, this stuff, so. Should we just throw it all in then? Yeah, throw it all in. Got some gorilla tape here. So that was a tough day. We accomplished something that we didn't think we were going to have to accomplish, didn't we? It was like opening a can of worms today. Yeah, it is what it is. So we got a frame in, we got a sister on the frame also, we got a stringer sister in and a little fixed noggin, yeah, little yeah, noggin yeah, yeah. on a stringer. So we haven't had time to do the web frame, unfortunately, no. but we can do that next time. Yeah. So. Time to go home. Over an hour, <laughs> That's over now, basically. Yeah. Thank you so much for Athletic Green for sponsoring today's episode. Mm. Cheers, guys. And we'll yeah. see you all next week. Yeah, cheers, guys. See you later. Bye.